Habla Español. A local business is giving clients the gift of gab in another language, and they're doing it all online. Casa de Español is serving up Spanish lessons, and we're joined now by Spanish instructor Alex Gomez. Thanks for joining us, Alex. Hola. Hola, buenos dias. It's a pleasure to be with you. It's great to have you. Tell us about Casa de Español and how you're teaching Spanish to everyone of all ages. Sure, absolutely. Um, here at Casa we started uh, back approximately nine years ago uh, in, in Sacramento. Uh, we've been teaching uh, students, uh, adults, and uh, young ch children alike uh, here in Sacramento and also upon the, uh, the metropolitan area. Uh, in addition to that, uh, now because of the pandemic, we've had classes online, and so we've been able to connect not just with students in the regional area, but also students across uh, the country, actually, and actually in some, some other parts of the world. That's great. Now, why should people consider taking the time to learn another language like Spanish? Taking the time to learn another language like Spanish, uh, number one, I think uh, use it's, um, a lot of my students find it very useful, very helpful uh, living in Northern California. There's so many opportunities to use it in real life. Uh, students can use it on, on a daily or weekly basis. And so it's, it's been very, uh, the, the language is very helpful. Uh, number two, there's a lot of, there's research also that demonstrates how it keeps your, uh, your brain malleable as we, as we become a little older, as we uh, go on to uh, different uh, part, parts of our life. It keeps the, uh, the brain strong, uh, energetic, and some really uh, good workout for, the, for, for uh, learning another language. Yeah, and it's great to be able to list that you know another language on your resume if you're looking for a job. Now, have you found more interest in learning Spanish over the past several months if people have been staying home in the pandemic? Yes, uh, there's actually two parts to that answer. Number one, there's a group of students. Uh, there's a portion of the, of the pop student population that would prefer to do uh, in person. Uh, a lot of language learning, second language learning acquired, uh, is acquired through uh, reading corporal language, reading the body language, and how people talk and how people oh, okay. react to each other. Uh, however, there's the other portion to that, and that's the um, because people don't have to come downtown to Sacramento. Uh, some people find it very, very convenient. So we have students, as I mentioned, across uh, across sac the Sacramento area and also in other parts of, of the country. Uh, and so I think people are finding it that it's something very uh, positive to look forward to. Something there's a lot of stress in real life, uh, with in, in outside and other, you know, with the pandemic, with things going on in, in, in the world. Uh, so it's, it's just a chance to kind of uh, de-escalate from that and do something fun, something good for yourself. And it's, it's, a, it's a really nice uh, community where the students get to meet each other and, uh, and build relationships, learning Spanish. It's something in, in common. It makes people, it, it helps connect br bridges. Yeah, and some people may have, you know, started taking Spanish in high school or even college. But if, if you don't practice it consistently, you're going to kind of lose those skills. So how do you encourage people to stick with it? That's a great question. Um, how we encourage students to stick with it is number one, building community. So we offer here at Casa de Español uh, tutoring programs um, outside of the base, uh, outside of our regular classes. So students have a chance to reconnect online. Uh, second thing, how students can continue to to, to practice is is uh, living in California or, or other portions where you have a chance to 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 speak Spanish with uh, with your with uh, people around your community. Uh, number three, uh, online uh, there's there's a plethora of resources uh, both to build vocabulary, both to build your listening skills uh, via via music, via videos. Uh, and so there's 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 that, that that aspect to it too. But you made a good point. If you don't use it, you do start to lose it. So my students find out that they pr appreciate the consistency. Here at Casa, we offer that consistency from basic to superior levels. So you have a plethora of classes to take it where you continue to practice and it's very dynamic and it makes for a very positive, engaging learning, uh, learning community, learning environment. Well, it sounds like you have a great program over there. What do you do with the kids, the younger ones, to keep them engaged virtually? Great. Uh, so yes, our younger students. So um, it, it took us a, few, a couple weeks to transfer to trans, transfer over to the Zoom classes, our online classes. But they're very dynamic. The students, the young students, learn Spanish uh, via music by singing songs, mm -hmm. uh, via art, uh, by creating art pieces. Uh, there's communicative activities where the students are, are constantly engaged. Uh, the the in-person classes used to be approximately uh, for the whole week, approximately two two and a half hours. Now the classes are approximately thirty to forty five minutes, about twice a week. So the shorter period of time, so the student engaged. Uh, and they have to be interactive. And, and, and we also have a great professional staff who is very well knowledgeable, well trained to keep students engaged. It's, we, we have a very proven technique. That's why our, our classes and our students are, I think, are very happy with the, with the experience that they receive with us. Well, Alex, this is some great information. Sounds like you have a good thing going over there, teaching folks to speak Spanish. If you want to look into their class schedule and get all the info, visit Casa de Español.